Hey guys, Gavin, you're here from ultimatereloader.com. Wanted to give you all a quick peek at a book that I just finished reading from Lyman. It's called The Long Range Precision Rifle Reloading Handbook. And it's actually a lot more than just a reloading handbook. Uh, let's see here, from the table of contents, I'll give you guys an idea of what's inside here. First, we have reloading considerations for long range shooting. You would expect that in a book like this, some of the conceptual topics that you're gonna need to understand before you get into the low data and that kind of thing. Then there's a couple articles on PRS, and if you haven't tried a PRS match, I strongly recommend that you do. It's the Precision Rifle Series. There's a bunch of different stages that you compete in. It's really challenging. You'll be shooting at 200, 400, 800 yards, and need to complete a sequence like that in about 90 seconds. You're gonna be shooting prone in some stages, off of barricades, standing, sitting, kneeling. I mean, it's crazy and it's really going to help to develop your skills. And if you are wanting to get started in PRS, this PRS how-to is just a great starting fundamental backgrounder. And then there's rifle systems for PRS, which is helpful if you're looking at, okay, I want to compete in a PRS match. What kind of a rifle do I need to look at for a conventional PRS match or for an ELR, extended long range, extreme long range PRS match? So that is super helpful. And then there's the history and design of the 6.5 and 6 millimeter Creedmoor cartridges by Dave Emery. And I actually got to know Dave Emery a little bit in talking with him about the development of 6.5 Creedmoor when I put together the Starline Complete Cartridge Guide for 6.5 Creedmoor. This book has a little bit more detail and it also covers 6 millimeter Creedmoor, which I'm planning to shoot a PRS match with and to bring a whole bunch of content to you all for this coming year in 2019. Super excited about that. And finally, there's an article about rifle scopes, reticles, how to think in mills, how to think in MOA, that kind of thing, which is, is super cool. And then there's the data section. And what I like about the data section, let me flip over to one of these, is that you'll get all of the cartridge specifics, like this is six dasher here, and so we have the cartridge diagram, but then you also have this really helpful kind of backgrounder on what the parent case is, whether or not factory ammunition is available, what people are using it for, and then there's the data. And what I like about the data is, for cartridges where small primer and large primer variants are available, the data is separate. So you get separate FPS numbers, separate data, and while it might be a very small and slight change that you can expect between large primers and small primers, it's still helpful to have that data so that you know exactly what to expect. So I learned quite a few things. I really enjoyed reading about some of the cartridges that I haven't shot, like 6 Dash or like 260 Remington, and to see how they stack up next to some of the other cartridges. So if you're interested in long range shooting and you wanna do reloading, I would highly recommend this book. It's not expensive. It's a pretty easy read and it's a great reference to have on hand. So there you go, the Lyman Long Range Precision Rifle Reloading Handbook in a nutshell. If you wanna check it out, I'll have a link in the video description that will link to a product page. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss any of the action coming up here on Gavin Tube, including six millimeter Creedmoor in 2019, make sure you're subscribed to Gavin Tube with notifications. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.